because if you ever heard that the guys that used to do the like, Chinese napkin rings, it's an old stage effect, you might have seen guys doing their metal rings and yeah. that sort of thing. Well, it's, uh, it's a similar idea, but obviously I don't have metal rings. They don't have any of them. Material. So it's like, sort of makes a ring, probably a cardboard ring. What I can do with the middle part is make it a little smaller part. So the whole is just the get rid of this. Look at that guy, and you can see, you can see inside of it. That's an unbroken And there's no gaps or breaks in it. And likewise, this, this also is an unbroken ring. So the mystery of the Chinese Lincoln rings was such that the guy who first got it, he totally blew everybody away. Every magician who's seen it couldn't believe it. They just couldn't believe that two solid objects could essentially just pass a little bit. I mean, these are no metal rings, but the same thing. It should have been shaken by Just like... So look, can I just show you it's absolutely not looking so much. The only way to get it off is to rip it. You need to rip the little ring open. Check that out, there's no brakes in it, right? But the problem is that the little ring's broken. And everybody always says, oh, you broke it before now and you slipped it back right on. And that's what the hardest part is. That's what it is. The hardest part is to clean the little ring. Heal it up again. So that the brakes go. If you can relink them to it. That's amazing, isn't it? A round of applause, please, for my assistant.